Hey everyone, I'm Kier. I'm a magician. This is a deck of playing cards. And this is a prediction. Once the playing cards have been opened, we can pretty much do whatever we want with them. Maybe we give them a shuffle. Maybe we give them another shuffle. Maybe we even decide that we want to give the cards a cut. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to have you say stop whenever you want. Right there? You sure? Okay. That's going to be your card. Don't forget it. Now once we've done that, we can do pretty much anything we want with the cards. I can give them another shuffle, and just like that, your card comes back to the top. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. That's not really a magic trick. In fact, that's hardly even sleight of hand. But wouldn't it be amazing if it matched my prediction? Let's see. Your card, the Eight of Spades. That wasn't your card? Okay, well, this is a lighter. Observe. Your card, the Four of Clubs. What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. So it's been a while since I've done a Q&A video and uh, I realized that sometimes I get asked a lot of the same questions and I answer them individually, whether it's uh, people asking in the comments in videos or uh, asking me in person or messaging me with questions. I figure a lot of you guys probably have similar questions to some of those people. So what better way to answer them for everybody than to just do a Q&A video? So I recently just put a uh, Q&A sticker up on my Instagram story. Probably not gonna get to everybody's questions, but I do wanna make sure that I get through some, especially the ones that were repeat questions, ones that I'm getting asked a lot about. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video because we are gonna be doing a giveaway. Before we get started, please do drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. Let's go. All right, now I am gonna apologize in advance for anybody's uh, names that I mispronounce. I'm gonna be using your uh, Insta handle, so um, hopefully, hopefully nobody gets hurt by that. All right, first question is from uh, Ohana Casino. That is uh, Tanner James, he's a friend of mine. Uh, he wants to know what my favorite sneakers are. I don't know if you guys know this, I am not a huge uh, sneaker collector. I don't have like a, a giant shoe collection or anything, but I am a rather casual dresser in my everyday life. Uh, and right now the Adidas EQT uh, Support Edition, uh, specifically the pink ones. Hang on a sec. I would say right now, this is probably my favorite sneaker. Um, I have them in black and orange, and then I have these pink ones. And the pink ones, I don't wear them all the time, but when I do, it's because I'm really feeling myself. So yeah, definitely those. K Goosey wants to know, uh, can we have a sneak peek of your next deck? No. <laughs> uh, no, uh, so we actually, me and Nick have uh, began bouncing ideas, planning for Slow Hands V2 since uh, V1 was successfully funded. However, we have not ironed out any uh, official design work yet. We have a concept in mind, we have some colors in mind, but we have not put the pencil to the paper and drawn anything out yet. So more on that as it develops. Uh, Josh Bull 117 wants to know, uh, how many decks of cards do you own? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Look behind me, there's, there's too many. And yes, there is such a thing as too many, so. <laughs> um, Cy the Magic Guy, <laughs> that's a cool name. Uh, he wants to know, what is the most important thing for you while performing? Also, how did you and your wife meet? <laughs> okay, okay, two very different questions, uh, unless I met my wife while we were performing, which I didn't. Um, I think when you're performing magic, live anyway, uh, it's a totally different thing when you're online, but uh, I would say in the majority of my magic performances, the thing that I find to be the most critical, the thing that I want to mess up the least, uh, is definitely just engagement with the crowd. Uh, patter is very important, making sure that you rehearse your lines, making sure that you know the flow of what you're doing. 
uh, keeping people engaged. It's very important. And that's something that it's interesting because I think it gets lost uh, when you're doing magic online because you don't have a spectator. You're not performing live magic. You're just doing a trick for the camera. So I would say definitely making a connection with the crowd. You wanna make them feel good about watching you perform. You wanna make them feel special and you definitely wanna make them feel like they're a part of something that um, they're gonna remember for the rest of their lives. Like each intimate moment is really just tailored to your spectators, if possible. Sometimes you got a big crowd um, and it can be difficult to connect with everybody, but um, in my experience, I don't I don't perform for giant crowds. It's usually just table hopping um, at, at places. So uh, yeah, making that connection is super important. And then in terms of how uh, I met my wife, I mean, same way you meet anybody, you know? I was here, she was there, we met each other, and now we're married and in love, so. <laughs> Hugo Stape 52 says, uh, what is your favorite deck of cards? Um, now I get asked this a lot. I know a ton of you guys are probably curious about that. In fact, I'm sure a lot of you guys get asked this question too. It's a very popular question among uh, our community. I have favorite brands. I definitely have favorite designers. Um, there's certain, there's certain designs that I connect with a lot, but uh, it's hard to say. It kind of just changes from day to day, I guess. But right now I am super into the uh, Svengali V3, the off the wall deck. This is definitely one of my favorite decks of cards right now. Okay, um, so same person asked, what is your favorite deck designed in collaboration with Daniel Schneider? So Dan is my favorite designer, period. Uh, he's my favorite playing card designer. He's also a friend of mine. I really love everything he's done. If we're talking specifically in collaboration, as in not Black Roses, then I think probably Orbit. Uh, obviously the Orbit decks for sure. Okay, next, next, next. Ollie Seidel, Ollie Seidel. Sorry. Ollie wants to know what my first deck of Fontaines was. Um, it's hard to remember because um, I think the oldest deck of Fontaines that I own is the V2, the blue ones. Um, but that was not my first Fontaine deck. I think the first Fontaine deck that I actually purchased uh, was the V3, the black Fontaines. And when, when Fontaine uh, kind of burst off of Indiegogo, I was not a card collector really at the time. I was focused a lot on stage magic and I definitely was not a card collector. I was not a, a card flourisher. Um, I didn't really get into collecting cards for a long time, but I think the V3 Fontaines were probably the first deck of Fontaines that I, that I bought. Uh, Nazir Baldesh wants to know, what is the best deck in the world? Uh, slow hands. Slow hands playing cards is the best deck in the world, for sure. <laughs> uh, Batman Stew. That's a sweet name. I love that. Batman Stew. Um, what was the first YouTube deck reviewer that you watched? Um, specifically deck reviewer? I'm not really sure. Probably the Cardis. Uh, he's a uh, deck reviewer out of the UK. The first magic channel on YouTube that I really got into was Miss Mag, uh, which was kind of like the OG tutorial channel on YouTube. And the thing is too, is on YouTube, I like to watch people perform. I definitely like to watch cardistry videos and I love watching deck reviews, uh, specifically The Gentleman Wake. But I think uh, The Cardist UK was probably my first deck reviewer that I watched. And then Miss Mag was definitely the first magic channel uh, that I subscribed to. Deckhead wants to know, if you could go back and change one thing about Slow Hands, what would it be? Um, <laughs> I would have made the Kickstarter campaign for Slow Hands 20 days instead of 30 days. Uh, after that 20 day mark we had, uh, we were fully funded, we were good to go. And then uh, in that last 10 days, it's just been kind of watching the clock, hoping that we don't uh, go down in funding. It's It's been a kind of a crazy roller coaster ride. So I would have made the campaign shorter, to be honest. That's probably the one thing I would change. Resend IZ 3600 asks, uh, what's better, money or power? Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I would take either one, to be honest. I feel like one uh, really complements the other anyway. Uh, so if you're asking me personally what I would rather have, probably money, probably money. Um, but I think that if you have uh, money, you have influence. And if you have influence, usually there's money. So uh, you kind of have both if you have one. Um, okay, we got a couple questions here from Jesse G, the Fantastic Magician. That is definitely one of the longer Instagram handles that I've seen. Uh, first question is how many slow hands decks will there be? Two, three, 12. <laughs> uh, well, we have at least three concepts uh, kind of thought up, but if it were up to me, I would like to see uh, kind of an endless catalog of slow hands decks or other branches of slow hands. Um, that's, you know, that's my brand. It's my baby. It's what I love. 
Um, and I think that there's a lot of potential for uh, many, many decks down the road. So we'll see, you never know. He also asks one YouTube channel that you would like to be featured on your channel. Um, in terms of people that I haven't already collaborated with or already talked to about collaborating, I would say probably Pig Cake. I think it would be cool if maybe like I reviewed a deck and he taught something or definitely 52 cards. I would love to be either featured on the 52 cards channel or to get a thought over uh, on my channel. That would be life changing, probably. <laughs> His last question was, what is the ugliest deck you own? Um, well, I, I really only buy decks that I don't think are ugly. Um, <laughs> I mean, everybody owns decks that they're not proud of owning. And if uh, if that's the case, then probably the Bros Mind deck. I love it, but it is not a pretty deck, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, playing Card Combination says, can you show us your deck collection? All right, there you go. That's that's what I can do for you right now. There you go. <laughs> <coughs> I'm getting over a cold, so I'm like warm and then I'm freezing. Uh, playing Cards for Life, do you have a criteria when people ask you to review their decks on whether you'll do it or not? Yes, I do. If it's somebody that I think really has thought it through, that has a solid uh, design or a solid concept on their hands, and they're really excited, uh, that's definitely a good start. But then also, I'm, I'm more choosy, I think, about decks that are going to Kickstarter uh, than anything else. But yeah, I mean, sometimes there has been times in the past where I've had to uh, turn down the opportunity to receive or review decks just because it's not something that I think fits the channel or it's not something that I think um, you know, I'm 100% invested in. So less of a criteria, more like there are times when I want to and there's times when I don't. Alex underscore MLS, who is your favorite cardistry group and what is your favorite standard deck? Uh, my favorite cardistry group, I would, I would say group wise, is probably the December Boys, um, just in terms of their video content and their skills. Uh, I love watching their videos. Those are, those are videos that I really look forward to watching and I always watch them, uh, you know, from start to finish. I study them, I get ideas off of them. But then also, of course, the Orbit crew because Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I love those guys. My favorite standard deck is definitely the Tally Ho Circlebacks. For sure. Um, the red ones. Sometimes the blue ones, mostly the red ones. Eeple Apple <laughs> asks, do you have any finger exercises specifically for the ring finger and pinky? But really what I do is I just practice moves until I'm happy. LMCM Magic underscore 52 asks what my favorite pass is. Uh, if you guys know me, you know I am a classic pass uh, addict. I love doing the classic pass. I love it as a color change. I love it as a control. Uh, I'm really good at it, so that helps, but uh, <laughs> I think the classic pass is probably my favorite. I do like the Herman pass, but it's it's it, depending on how you're doing it, it's very messy or can be, uh, unless you're doing it like the Alex Pandrea variation, the turnover pass is what people call it. Um, that, that's a really good one, but I the classic pass for sure, always and forever my favorite. Finally, Cal Spencer 949 um, He wants to know what my ranking of Orbit decks is. I'm actually going to do an entire video uh, kind of about that. So before I do that, I'll give you kind of an idea. First half is uh, mostly the later decks and one of the older decks. And then the, the second half is mostly the older decks and one of the newer decks, maybe two of them. So. That's all I can say for now. All right, I think that's probably it for questions for today. So 
Thank you guys. Thank you guys for asking those questions. I answered uh, most of the ones that I've gotten repeats on or just some of the ones that I thought were interesting or that I had good talking points for. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you like that kind of stuff, let me know so I can do more of it. And now let's talk about why you really clicked on this video, which is the uh, giveaway. As you guys can see, I have um, a lot of decks of cards and I think probably the most popular thing uh, that I get asked to do on this channel, aside from like tutorials and stuff, is giveaways. And I do like to do giveaways and I do a lot of them and usually I have so many running at once that they're hard to keep track of. So, quick update, I will be announcing the Black Roses giveaway winners uh, in my next video. And I think that's currently actually the only one that I have not announced a winner for, so we're good. <laughs> Let's talk about what the new giveaway is. All right, for this new giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away the new Gemini Ultra V2 playing cards. These are uh, limited edition, one of 2,500. Um, I have a couple extra of these, so we're gonna be giving this away. And I'm gonna be giving away the Hand Shields Gene Edition playing cards. Uh, these are by Anthony Chen Hutt. He is uh, one of my favorite cardists uh, probably ever. Super underrated, but he can design one hell of a deck of cards. So um, I love this deck, I have a bunch of them. And uh, I think it makes for a really nice giveaway. It's a nice uh, cardistry deck, nice and simple, very sexy. So there you go. If you want to win these two decks of cards, here's all you got to do. Let's get the obvious out of the way. Number one, you got to like this video and you got to be a subscriber. I would also appreciate it if you would enable those notifications just so you can see it. And thirdly, nice and simple, leave me a comment down below. It could be a nice comment. It could be a funny comment. It can be a joke, it can be whatever you want, as long as it is uh, polite and respectful of everybody else in the comments, please. We'll make this giveaway, uh, we'll make this giveaway a short one. I will announce the winner of this giveaway in one week. So one week from today, I will be announcing the winner of these two decks of cards. So uh, the sooner the better, act now. <laughs> uh, I do wanna say thank you to everybody who backed the Slow Hands project. It is now over, I can't believe it. Uh, so what's gonna happen now is once the money gets transferred to me from Kickstarter, uh, we're gonna start shelling it out <laughs> to everybody. We gotta pay the USPCC to order the decks. We gotta start uh, getting the custom half brick boxes made, stickers, all that stuff. So I'm thinking probably sometime early May, uh, we're gonna be able to get those orders shipped out to you guys. So for those of you that believe in me enough to back the project, and for those of you that love the deck as much as I do, uh, you guys are everything to me. Thank you so much. It literally could not have been more exciting uh, to see than, than exactly how it happened. So I love you guys, thank you. All right, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you wanna win that giveaway or just do it because you're feeling nice, you know? That's, that's always a thing too, right? It's a thing. All right, everybody, with that being said, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. I know I will. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.